I am going to get my snake today. I'm gonna get my snake today. I'm gonna get my snake today. Today, I'm getting my snake, if you haven't heard already. Um, I am at home waiting because, quick story time, I'm an absolute dingus. So, I meant to have everything prepared for my snake as soon as I got back from Seattle. Um, I had a trip to Seattle, so I was waiting for that to pass, and then I was gonna get my snake, so I thought the week after um, Seattle, I would prepare everything and order the last few items I need, and I would have my snakes home ready for him when he got home on Friday. So I was thinking I was gonna go pick him up on Friday. Today is Saturday. The reason why I didn't get my snake is because I procrastinated. I was supposed to order one last thing and I took too long to order it and it would, wasn't gonna come until today. So at the moment, I'm at home on a Saturday just chilling. The reason why I'm in pajamas is because I'm waiting for the package. So right now I'm waiting for my thermostat to plug into that I'm gonna plug into my under the tank heater so that I make sure that my snake doesn't get burned. So it's kind of important. I'm really excited to take you on the journey um, of getting my snake. Doesn't yet have a name. We will see. I want to meet him first and, and hold him and maybe in my when he's in my hands looking up at me I'll go, that's it. I have his name. Or maybe I'll just put a Twitter poll up, I don't know. It is almost five o'clock. And finally, everything's working. I have my, well, I think it's working. I have my thermostat that I was waiting from my Amazon order. And finally it came. And when I plugged it in, I had some trouble. I don't think, I don't know if it's actually working um, correctly. When I set it to 85 degrees, it said that it was at 85, but I could touch the heat pad and there wasn't much of a difference. Um, it felt like it was room temperature, maybe like 75. And then when I, but when I put the temperature all the way up to 108, which is the most it could be, it felt warm. And then I checked it with my temperature gun and it did, it was climbing up um, past 90. So I put it back down to 85 to see if it's going to give me 85 now. If not, I think I just decided to head over to the East Bay Vivarium and pick up a thermostat from there. Um, when I pick up the snake. So either way, I've got Andy here. The both of us are gonna head over to Berkeley right now and um, We're gonna try to make it because six o'clock is when the vivarium closes. This is a quick look at my current setup right now I am not finished Yet because I'm gonna go get a few things while I when I get the snake now This is the thermostat I was talking about. This is the Vivo Sun heat mat thermostat and It's in Fahrenheit saying that it's at 122 degrees and then let me see if I can check for you. Yeah, it's at 85, 83, but this is still saying over 100. So I don't actually trust this. Yeah, that's the right temperature that I want. So I don't trust this thermostat. I'm going to go get another one from the East Bay Vivarium because I want to make sure that we have accurate readings. I'm really sorry I didn't get to show everything that I wanted to. I ended up just running in and running out because we got there 15 minutes before the store closed. So all I got was the snake itself, um, I got some plants to put inside of it, the tank, and a new thermostat because the thermostat that I spent all day waiting for didn't actually work. So the Vivo Sun thermostat didn't work for me. I ended up getting the Jump Start, and online I saw that stuff for $21, and today I paid $64 for it. With a corn snake, I'm told that you should, you can handle him before you put him in the cage, and then once you put him in his new home, really just leave him be for between three days to a week is what I've been told. So I'm gonna show you right now, I'm gonna unbox my corn snake, and then I'm going to put him in his cage and just let him chill for a bit. Right now, I'm just making sure that all the temperature is right um, and everything's good inside the tank so that we can get ready, so that I can feel confident leaving him for the rest of the week. They had maybe like eight baby corn snakes to choose from and because we were in a rush, I didn't get to ask as many questions as I wanted to, like when he was born, or um, when his last feeding was. I, I don't know all that information. I'm gonna call tomorrow and see if I can learn all of that. We've officially hit day one with Homeboy, the corn snake. Um, so he hasn't done much. He hasn't moved really at all. I'm nervous, but I know that this is probably normal. He's stayed under the same, like in the exact same spot in his plant hide. Ugh, I'm trying my best. 
to not think about it and just like, like I keep checking the temperature, but um, I just, <laughs> I just wanted to touch him. <laughs> and I like, honestly, I'm acting like, like a obsessive girlfriend. I don't know where my phone is, but on my phone I have a few pictures that I took of him before I put him in the cage and <laughs> I keep looking at those all day just like looking at my snake and how beautiful he is. <laughs> Things that I would recommend. Um, buy everything you need before you get the snake and have that running for, have everything set up and running for at least maybe an hour or so before you bring your snake home. Your snake is going to be really weirded out that they're in this new place but you want them to understand that this new place is home and that they feel safe. I would suggest playing with your snake for about 15 to 20 minutes before you put him into your tank because once you put him in that tank you should probably, no, you should not touch him for at least five, I would say in for five days. Just to reiterate, this I got, I got a black striped corn snake from the East Bay Vivarium and he was $45. I, I think he's between one to two months old and I decided to name him Homeboy, Homie for short. I just thought it was a really cute name that I read in a book. The book was The Men We Reaped by Jessmyn Ward. Oh my goodness, that was such a good book. I think it's it's just such a strong memoir of a young woman who grew up in um, southern US in poverty as a black woman and the experience of losing four four black men in her life in the span of four years. It's it was it was devastating and it was powerful, it was emotional, it was telling, it was it was beautiful. Um, I really highly recommend that book and in the book there's um, Jasmine's dad um, had two dogs one named Mr. Cool and one named Homeboy and I really liked both of those names and I ended up on Homeboy I thought Homie would be so cute as a, as a name and uh, it just kind of stuck so I'm so proud to be the snake mom of a new corn snake um, I and I can't wait to take you on the journey as I learn through this process. YouTube has been a really amazing place for me to learn how to take care of a snake and I feel like I know all this information because of the research I've done from other people's videos. So I make videos just, I'm making these videos so that hopefully somebody else who wants to learn how to take care of a corn snake and really wants to get their first snake can watch my videos and, um, and learn more and, and we can just educate each other so uh, please as I, as I said educate each other please feel free to comment if you notice I'm doing anything wrong or or if you have any tips for me I would highly appreciate that I would love to hear what kind of snakes you have or which snakes you're interested in having stay tuned for more updates thanks so much for watching bye